Well, for the first time in 2024, California's leading Senate candidates will meet on the debate stage. Tonight, current members of Congress, Barbara Lee, Katie Porter, and Adam Schiff step on the debate stage with baseball legend Steve Garvey. Eyewitness News reporter Will Silverstein got an inside look from the debate's moderator. Will? Rochelle, that's right. Fox LA anchor Alex Michelson is the moderator of tonight's debate, and I spoke with Michelson ahead of this pivotal debate about what we should expect from the candidates and what we in Kern County should look for in tonight's conversation. With uh, four big candidates, what are you looking most forward to in this debate? Well, it's the first time that we've seen all of them on stage together. Steve Garvey uh, is somebody who has never been a political candidate before, and he's going to be on stage with three sitting members of Congress who have done this a lot. So it'll be interesting to see what he says and how he says it. Uh, something else that I think is especially interesting to look for is Katie Porter. Uh, she is coming into this really battling Steve Garvey for second. Uh, a lot of polls shows that she's behind. I think Katie Porter has the most to gain potentially in this debate, but also potentially the most to lose. And often people in those scenarios are more likely to go on the attack because they have a reason to do that. Usually people that are seen as more the front runner can sort of step back a little bit. Adam Schiff coming into this debate, the clear front runner. He really doesn't have to do all that much. Uh, I'm really keeping my eye mostly on Porter and Garvey. What should voters in Bakersfield and the Central Valley up through Fresno uh, be looking for in this debate? We have not had a competitive Senate race in California in 30 years. Uh, this person, whoever it is, could be in there for decades. Uh, so it's really important to do your homework now uh, while this race is still competitive and have a chance uh, to um, talk about it. But we're going to be talking about the biggest issues in the state. We're going to talk about housing affordability, talking about homelessness, talking about crime, talking about water, which I know is a big issue in the Central Valley, talking about these things that we think about every single day that we haven't been able to solve. And we're going to be looking at our next leader's perspective. So, well, we talked about the bigger picture there, but mm. what should people here in Kern County be looking for and listening for tonight? I think one of the things that Alex didn't mention there is going to be energy production, particularly with oil and gas production in, in the Central Valley, because that's something where the candidates come to Kern County, they talk about how much they want to invest in energy and oil production, and then once they go to a debate stage that features this debate being aired in San Francisco and Los Angeles, that might sound a little different and maybe a little bit more agreeable to green energy and looking forward as what's next for renewable energy sources. So I think energy production will be interesting to see what they talk about on the debate stage. Well, and Will, we have these candidates on stage tonight, but I know you and several of our other colleagues have interviewed some of these other candidates not on the stage tonight. Why is that? Yeah, so Eric Early, Christina Pascucci, those are two candidates that have come in to see us that are not on the debate stage. At the time, they pulled under that 10% threshold that Politico had set for the debate. And uh, since then, actually, Barbara Lee, who's that fourth candidate on the stage, has dropped below 10% as well. So that's someone who's currently on the stage under 10%. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if she can make that jump up. But that's the reason why Early and Pascucci were cut from the debate stage. All right, something to look forward to for sure. Absolutely. Will Silverstein, thank you. Thank you. And you can catch that debate tonight on our sister station, Fox 58 Tonight. That airs from 6 until 7.30.